Okay, this video is going to show you how to mix up methyl hydroxide. We use a five gallon mixing pail and we fill it up to about the, the second mark down or the second ridge. You can see it right down here. Fill it up to about that full and it'll be about five gallons. And what we're using here is we're pumping it from a 55 gallon drum using an air pump that uh, pressurizes the tank with 10 psi of pressure and then uh, goes through that hose and right into the bucket and Josh here is going to show you how we're going to mix 64 ounces of uh, potassium hydroxide in the bucket using an air drill with a mixing paddle show them the mixing paddle at the end this is an air drill and the mixing paddle is just a steel disc welded at the bottom of a rod okay okay you can put that up now in the um, in the thread I was saying that the uh, amount of potassium hydroxide is anywhere from 32 dry ounces in a mixing cup to 64. Now this batch of oil we figured out we needed two 32 ounce dry ounces of potassium hydroxide mixed into the five gallons of methyl alcohol. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to do one at a time. Got a little mixing plastic cup here that has measurements on the side. He's putting it up to about the 32 ounce mark. Doesn't have to be exact, just eyeball it. Pours it into the methyl alcohol. And this is going to make methyl hydroxide. Five gallons of it. Be sure not to breathe the dust. The dust from the potassium hydroxide is a little bit uh, irritating. It can burn your skin. So try to avoid that. And here we go. Mix it up for about a minute or two. And then you're going to add another cup, if needed, of the potassium hydroxide. Notice the rubber gloves that Josh is wearing for protection. And it's probably a good idea also to wear a face mask. You should not breathe the fumes. Highly toxic. Okay, why don't you go ahead and add another one of your measuring cups full. Make sure you put your lid back on your potassium hydroxide as uh, potassium hydroxide has a great affinity for moisture in the air or water and it'll start to solidify and get wet on you if you don't. We are using an air drill because that eliminates any possibility of any sparks or anything else igniting the, the uh, methyl alcohol, which is highly volatile. This stuff is not to be played around with. Don't have any open flames or sparks or anything near it.
Now we want to mix this until the liquid is practically clear. You won't see any uh, little particles or anything floating. Most times they'll they'll make their way back down to the bottom. If they do, let it sit for a minute or two and then mix it up for another minute. But the liquid will be almost absolutely clear. That should probably be good for right now. Well, there you have it. That's how you mix the methyl hydroxide. Again, on this batch, we're using 64 dry ounces of potassium hydroxide mixed to 5 gallons of methyl alcohol. And this is enough to make 25 gallons of biodiesel. So you'll mix this 5-gallon bucket and 25 gallons of hot 150 degree vegetable oil. Thanks for watching.